I, I have the greatest respect for you, greatest possible respect for you, uh, Mr. Dennis. But when you cry and say, I sold my saloon, you are selling saloon from your own mind that a bribe might be required. Dr. Mondad is not the one who told you, I need money. And when you are selling it, it was not because Monda told you to, to sell your saloon. As I stated earlier, I did not know any communication yes. between my dad. So why are you crying? Where's Why are you crying okay. and it's not Dr. Monda who told you to sell your saloon or okay. forced you to sell your saloon? Where? He had not told you to give him any bribe. So where is my business? Where did it go to? Yeah, that. When you sold it on 20th, Dr. Monda had not spoken to you, had he? Okay, we are, okay. where are the proceedings? Okay, the anyway, I think I've made my point to the Senate. Yes. I'd like to move on to a different issue. Mm. And I probably just want to finish because I know you need, uh, your colleagues need time. Um, so you said you, Dr. Monda also threatened you, isn't it? Yes. That's the other count against Dr. Monda. Now, we are agreed, Doctor, you don't, you didn't, you never spoke with Dr. Monda at any point on phone, isn't it? Uh, every communication was done through my dad. Your father. Yes. And so even the threat was, came through your father? You no, know, this was, uh, it came through now, uh, it's uh, Honorable Siocha. Uh, whom I reported the issue to, yes. and uh, told me to write a formal statement. No, no, I don't know if you are mixing the issues. Yes. We are talking about being threatened. Yes. We are in agreement this far that there was no communication between you and Dr. Monda. Every time you needed to communicate with Dr. Monda, you do it through your father, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. So the question is, you, at a certain point, labor under the feeling that you have been threatened. That feeling was communicated to you by your father, or by who, or by what? You know, when I told my dad I want to make a formal complaint, it was not of the idea. Please just answer the question yes. directly. It is your father who told you. Yeah, Dr. Through... Monda is very upset and uh, say has threatened your life. Uh, he did not say, OK, I got the information from my dad. Yes. And also got so the Senate can then rest and say, knowing that the point that you are threatened was communicated to you by your father, that it came from Dr. Monda, isn't it? Yes. OK. Now, that's good enough. I want to move on from there. Now, look at paragraph, uh, paragraph 17. I have two last issues I want to discuss. OK, first of all, paragraph 12. You have nothing to show that any 300,000 was given to Dr. Monda, do you? Other than saying it, other than word of mouth. No. You don't have. Yes. And you are. Your witness for the point that 300,000 was given to Dr. Monda is your father, Mr. Joseph Misat, isn't it? Yes, I was with my he dad. He was, he was. And he will come and testify and say, yeah. I was with my son when we gave Dr. Monda the money. Yes, I was with him. Okay. Now, the, let's move on to paragraph 17. You say, I informed my father and the deputy governor of my intention. No, 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 paragraph 15. You say that I thereafter wrote a demand letter to the deputy governor. Could you confirm that in the totality of the documents you've brought, you've not given us a copy of that demand letter? What, uh, sorry, what I did after the complaint to the Honorable Siocha, Weekly of Siocha? No, no, I'm just asking. Yes. We have documents here which the Senate is looking at, as you've yes. seen, we've gone through. That letter is not amongst the letters. There is no demand letter, isn't it, that you've brought to this Senate or to the Assembly, isn't it? I gave the copy to Honorable Siocha. And so you don't know, it's, it's Mr. Siaja, Honorable Siaja will explain it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, let's move on. Then you reported to EACC, isn't it? Yes, I did. Now, I would like you to, Honorable Members, I want to refer to my, our bundle, DG's bundle, page 16, where the letter of EACC is. Page 16. Now, could you confirm that this is not a letter of complaint? This letter at page 16. Uh, why do they keep taking away the document from you, Dennis? OK, you are at page 16. So page 16 is a letter dated 6th of February 2024, delivered to the, to the ESCC on 20th of February, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now, in that letter, that's not the letter you used to make your complaint, isn't it? This is a follow-up letter. Let's just go direct like that. This is a follow-up letter. Okay. Yeah. Have you brought this, this Senate 
a copy of your letter of complaint tabulating the issues you have complained against Dr. The, the complaints were recorded. Yes. And there was no uh, end document given. So, so you, may, ESCC, you have yeah. nothing to show it? Yeah, it's only the recording that they did at the ESCC. Okay. Yes. And you have no reference number? We actually, we, there was no reference number given. Now, this Senate is investigative in this kind of matters and might want to know whether that report was made. Could you tell this uh, Senate, what day did you make this report to ESCC? It was before this. Uh, no, I'm saying, so I you were prepared to make this case. Mm -hmm. You're saying you reported to ESCC. Could you tell us, was it on 14th of February 2023 or 16th or whichever date? Could you give us a specific date? Or you don't, you don't have a date? I cannot remember the specific okay. date. Now, uh, if this, which, which place did you report this to? Yes, you see. Where? Integrity. Integrity House. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And your statement is at Integrity House. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if the Senate wants to summon somebody to confirm that, who did you record your statement with? Give us a name. Oh, I don't know the name, but after I made the name either. Uh, after I made the complaint, and I just it. answer the question directly yes. so that we move. You don't have the name. You don't have a name. It, yeah, I, I remember she was a lady, but I don't know. Remember the name? Sorry, you? She was a lady. She was a lady. Yes, but right I don't handed know. or left handed? Or oh, you don't know? I cannot tell. Okay, but yeah. you don't know the name. You don't know the date, yeah. and you have no copy of any any bit of any complaint. Okay, I would like then to move on to a different issue as I close. What is your wish from this uh, Senate? Your wish is that uh, you get back your money. Is that, is that what you want the Senate to say? What is your wish? You know, my wish uh, as a young uh, graduate yes. uh, is just a representation yes. of the exploits that no, the, no, the you No, no, you cried about through. your money. You cried about your money. And so is it your point that you want the DG to be punished? You want him to lose his job? Or you want refund of your money? What is, your, what is, when, what is it you want the Senate when, to do? When uh, I complained, I made a complaint to the... Uh, You're not answering please. my question. I wanted back my money. You want back your money? Yes. And your expectation is that this Senate will tell the DG to give you back your money? So. Okay, so let me ask you differently. Yeah. Have you filed a civil suit? Sorry? For refund of your money? No. And is it your interest that your, your, father's, your father's friend be punished? Is your point that I want punishment for him, or that's not your interest? Your interest is money or punishment? My interest uh, is not only money. Yes. It's my long-term savings that I've made over the period of years. Yes, that's the same point. You want yes. money. Yes. Yes, and this is just a, a representation of the youth. Yes. So uh, I'm asking of you... Of the exploits we are going through. Uh, these politicians who ask favors in return of jobs. So I'm just a representative of the youth. Yes. Yeah. So you've come to represent the youth in making this complaint? Um, I actually say yes. You've and, come for... and if there are other youths out there okay. who are. So you've not... come here on behalf of the youth? Sorry? You have come on behalf of other youth? Uh, this was on my... Please actually, answer my question, my, yes or no. You've come on behalf of other youth. It's both. Okay. And your yes. tears this, this afternoon is also for the rest of the youth. It was my lifetime savings. It's for the baby I lost. Now, let's, look at, let's look at page 15 of, your, of, your, of the DG's bundle, which is your letter of complaint. Which? Page 15 of that same bundle. Page 15, honorable members. At page 15... You've said the only... Inter Are you at page 15? This one? Yes, yes, yes. that one, yes. Mm -hmm. You said, I have written to you because the deputy governor is acting with impunity. I believe as a member of the county assembly, you are uh, in a position to assist me by disciplining him through the county assembly. All you've come is to punish him. You don't even, you're not even interested in your money and your salon. You're only interested in him being punished, isn't it? Punishing him means uh, it's a refund. Mm -hmm. And to see have you asked for any refund in any of either your affidavit or your statement? I wrote actually to him to get a refund to complain the money he took for me. Okay. Yes. I will move on because I, I just want to use the last thing I want to explore before I hand over to my colleague is page 13. If you could go to page 13 kindly, the second paragraph, page 13 of the DG's uh, bundle, uh, honorable members. Are you there at page 13? Paragraph 2, you said, the brief facts are that in April last year, 2023, my father relayed some information he had received from the deputy governor about an advert on Quasco. You can see that? 
Your letter of 19th December. Yeah, this one. This one. So I'm, I'm, I'm inviting you to paragraph two. Are you at paragraph two? Yeah. The prefacts, are you there? Yes. Okay, could you confirm this is what you wrote? The prefacts of, the prefacts are that in April last year, 2023, my father relates some information he had received from the deputy governor. You can see? Yes. Now, this letter was written when? The letter I wrote uh, to... You wrote this letter which when? December. December, 19th December. Yes. So taking, taking paragraph two for its full meaning, it means you wrote this letter last year, 2022. Sorry? Taking this paragraph two for its full meaning, it means the brief facts that are in, the brief facts are that in April last year, which is 2022, isn't it? I think there was a mistake in typing. It was this, the same year. This is a mistake? Yeah, it was the same year. And, and you're two, telling this yes. assembly, yes. they should have read prefix of this year, 2023? Yes. Who wrote this letter, you or uh, Honorable Siyaja? I'm the one who wrote. Who wrote he, it? he told me to write a, okay. a formal complaint. Now, I put it to you mm. that it is true that this letter was backdated to all these events. Is Honorable Siyaja came to you and said, we are looking on behalf of the governor for a way to remove the deputy governor. Can, and we know you have an issue with him. Could you please do a complaint? And then the two of you then backdated the letter to 2023 when we were already living in the year 2024. Actually, uh, honorable members, yes. uh, there was no backdate. I made. You I, deny. You deny. I, there was no you backdate. Are, you deny that you are not a weaponized youth. Yes. Okay. Now. I want you. I want us to go then, since you say that, to page 14. Are you at page 14? At page 14. I would like us to look at paragraph C. Are you at paragraph C? Are you at paragraph C, please? Yes, yes. yes. At paragraph C, you said 50,000 on 28th May through my m -Pesa. And then after that statement, you said, a next year two unmarked DMM4 is a true copy of my m -Pesa statement printout reflecting the said transaction. Can you see that? Yes. Is that correct? Yes, I attached my m -Pesa statement. You attached your m -Pesa statement? Yes. Uh, you attached it to the letter of 19th December 2023? Yes. So you had an m -Pesa statement on 19th of December, which you attached to that letter and sent to Siyaja, isn't it? The one I, yes, I sent to Siyaja. The one you are relying on in this, in this Senate, isn't it? The, this is uh, the one I, I gave to, uh, I gave this statement. Okay, so let's Siyaja. look at the yes. next chair then. I would yes. like you to go to page, uh, I would like us to go to page 22, page 22 of, your, of, your, of that same bundle, the Deputy Governor's bundle, actually page 21, sorry, your Honorable Members. Are you at page 21? Are you at page 21? Yes. Is it true that the date of obtaining this m -Pesa statement was 29th January 2024, as we said a few minutes ago in my cross-examination? Uh, it's true. This it's is true, 29th yes. April. Yes. So when you are saying you are touching it, yeah. and it is December 2023, this m -Pesa did not exist, did it? I gave uh, the first, first I gave the m -Pesa transaction, the first one I made, I, 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 I printed through a Safaricom. Yes. Again, again, he right. called me, he said he had misplaced the statement. Okay. I put it to you that you're yes. lying. I'm not lying. You're not lying. Yes. Where is that statement is you had as of December 2023? No, that's, uh, I gave it to Siocha. So Siocha has, yes. has, so Siocha has... Um, when I made a formal complaint, I attached my personal statement, I attached my interview application. So, yes, all the, you are saying you gave Honorable Siocha yes. a, a statement, an m -Pesa statement yes. that existed as at, at 19, uh, 19, yes. as at 19th December 2023. Yeah. And it's not this one. Yeah. And this is not the next year you put there. This is a... This it's not the next year you gave Honorable Siocha. This is a, another one I printed again. Yeah. And, uh, and that other one that you had is not, you've not presented it anymore, have you? Uh, the it's first nowhere one. in the whole of your case, isn't it? The first one I gave it to Siocha, I okay. told you, yeah. Siocha frustrated your case by doing that. I put it to you again. 
that the truth of it is that you wrote this letter in uh, post 29th of January 2024. You carelessly said, I am enclosing an MPSA statement, which then bellied your case by showing that indeed you are deep into the year 2024. That's not true. This statement shows that indeed this, stat this statement dated 19th December by yourself mm -hmm. and stamped by Honorable Sioja on 21, 21st February is backdated. Uh, I'm not getting the old sense in it because You're I not told you. Me. Yes. All I'm saying is mm -hmm. you write a letter dated 19th December. Mm -hmm. You say I'm enclosing an MPSA statement. Yes. The MPSA statement turns out to have been in t on 29th of January 2024, long after 19th of December, meaning you did not have this MPSA statement on 19th of December. That's why I told Which you. Which in yes. effect means you wrote this letter after 29th of, Dece 29th of January 2024 and and both yourself and Honorable Sioja, Honorable Sioja, backdated it. You backdated it to 19th of December and prepared a stamp with Honorable Sioja dated 21st of December 2023. That's, that's not true. That's not true. Yes. I uh, will, uh, anyway, it is true from where we stand. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I would like my colleague, to, my colleague, Mr. Kevin Michiki, to ask a few questions, uh, probably about 10 minutes, and then we are done. Thank you.